Hey Pisces, good morning. Happy Friday, Pisces. I did a few shorts for you guys to warm it up, to get the energies going, right? We have some confused people. We have some people that are still with their wives uh, who feels guilty trying to be with you. We have guilt. We have somebody's in love with you. They don't have, know how to leave. They're unhappy. Then others of you, Pisces, you're in love, right? Some of you are in love with whoever. Um, yeah, so that's been the shorts. Be careful, Pisces, with everything. And then there's some karma. Karma's calling. I don't know if it has your name on it and it's something that you put out there and now it's going to come back to roost because Pisces, that could happen too. Like, say you did some dirt a long time ago. You cheated on somebody a long time ago and then you meet this great new person and then all of a sudden that person cheats on you. That could be your karma for when you cheated, right? We're all not great, Pisces. Karma will come, man or woman, even though I'm a good person and I cheated because I was unhappy. It's still cheating. So Pisces, when that karma hit, you're going to have to reach out to family and friends is what I read, right? It's going to hit you hard. But if you can dodge it, <laughs> bob and weave. If you can see the karma coming, be like, ah, Ooh, you know, bob and weave, Pisces. If you can do that, do that. Pray, ask for forgiveness, whatever, Pisces, if you can avoid that karma because it seems like it's going to be huge. Start praying now, Pisces, please. Ask for forgiveness for repent for whatever you did. You know what you did, right? You know what you did. Repent, ask for forgiveness, Pisces. Do it now. <laughs> Holy Spirit, but mean it. Spirit knows if you mean it or not, right? 1 800 to roll. We're going again. Did I say happy Friday? Happy Friday, Pisces. If you are new, you are welcome, guys. Anything about me will be down in the description box. I make a lot of cards under your inner chakras your inner chakras is also my main page where i read for the collective so if you're not a pisces and you're dating someone other than a pisces or you yourself is anything but a pisces then come on over to the wild side um yeah and that's that i do personals and everything all that stuff is down in the box pisces my email is down there too somebody reached out to me on my etsy said that they didn't have my email address but guys my email address is at the very bottom very bottom I believe. Yeah. If not, it's your inner chakras at gmail.com. It's the Pisces channel at gmail.com, right? Those are my addresses. But you can you can contact me on Etsy too, because she reached me. Anyway, Pisces, you have a lack of communication. This is an immature connection. Somebody don't know how to talk. They don't know how to respond. They don't know how to follow up. They don't know how to rebuttal. They just let, they just let silence happen. This is what they do, Pisces. Go with me. You see that? Lack of communication. All right, Pisces. What's going on? Guys, my energy's back. It feels like my energy back in 2020 when I first started. I was, I was a riot, right? That's what it feels like. Can they be trusted now, Pisces? Can they be trusted now? If you're not communicating and there's a lack of communicating, it's hard to trust someone who doesn't communicate. You can't communicate with a mute, right? You can't. Can they be trusted now? I don't know. Pisces, you know, if you haven't talked the talk, walked the walk, defined some things, figure some things out, you know. So with the lack of communication, you're trying to piece things together. No, they need to talk, Pisces. God is not going to bless you with someone else's future. That's not how it works. So Pisces. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, this is someone else's person. You probably didn't know that, but you was probably wondering why this person don't talk to you, why they don't communicate, why they don't text, email, follow up, anything. And you're probably thinking in your mind, can I trust this person? No. Can you? No. Did I? No. Can you? No. Did I? No. Can I? No. 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 Can I? No. 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 I did a video to that. Is that a song or did somebody make that up? I don't know, but I did a video to that and I was like, no and everything. No. 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 Pisces, this is not your person. God's not going to bless you with this. Even though that person wants to be a cheater and maybe you don't know that they're cheating. Well, Spirit is letting you know right now that that's someone else's person. That's someone else's future. 
Holy Spirit, for my Pisces. Let's go with it, Pisces. You are the high priestess. Spirit said, follow your intuition. All these cards flip, so I'm just going to take it. You're following your intuition. And Pisces, I think you're just going to end things. You're just going to end it. You're just going to end things. Pisces, you may have someone coming in offering you. This is a Knight of Pentacles, right? And they're trying to offer you this pentacle. And they're telling you, I'm reliable. I'm this. You can believe in me. You can trust in me. Pisces, this person wants a Ten of Cups with you. They see you as the Queen of Wands, but you ended things, Pisces, because this is not your wish fulfillment. Spirit said this is not your wish fulfillment. And Pisces, although they're going to rush in, but see, they're not communicating right now. They're not saying anything to you. They're just going to show up with this big-ass pentacle and be like, look, I love you. Take this pentacle. Spirit said no. Star card in reverse. That's not your wish fulfillment. Which takes us back up here, Pisces. God is not going to bless you with someone else's future. Of course, this person's not going to tell you, Pisces, that they with someone else or whatever. But no. You probably followed your intuition and realized this person has a family. And you are the high priestess. Maybe you pulled cards and you found out about it. But they're trying to rush in. Spirit, clarify this Knight of Pentacles. So Pisces, even if they rush in, can you trust them? See, you they've been through a tower already. You've probably been through a tower with this person. Pisces, they're going to come in and they're going to offer you love. But can you trust them, Pisces, with this lack of communication? Do you have all the answers? Spirit said this isn't your person. Heed the warning. Yeah, see, they're having delays in their life. I told you, they're having delays. King of Cups in reverse. This person can't offer you love because they have someone. And that's why they're quiet. And that's why they want to come to you and they can't come to you. And that's why they want to love you and they can't love you. Pisces, they can't. As soon as they offer you this pentacle, somebody's going to snag their ass by the back of their shirt and be like, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Right? People play too much, Pisces. They play too much. Yeah, this is the King of Swords. King of Swords. And you're the Empress. <laughs> Can they be trusted now, Pisces? Let's go to some truth. Can they be trusted now, Pisces? Holy Spirit, can this person be trusted? <laughs> Spirit gave me three cards, I believe. Yeah, three or four. I feel trapped in a relationship from obligations. Damn it, God. I be reading these cards. I'm telling you. I be reading them for filth. And then when I pull out my own cards, it just solidifies it. I love it. Pisces, they said, please don't leave me. And if you're texting this person, they say, stop texting me all day long. It's too much. Because Pisces, if you're texting them, they can't really look at your text, read your text, and this and that. Because they are in something else. They're in something else. But they want something with you. But you can't have this person, Pisces, until they end what they have. Right? Oh, Spirit. Whose future is this if it's not Pisces? God's not going to bless you. Holy Spirit, clarify whose future is this if it's not Pisces? Right? Whose future is this? Seven of Cups. Pisces, this person has options. They have they have options, Pisces. It's not your future. This is not your future. The world card. This is somebody else's world. That's that's somebody else's world, Pisces. Yeah. Yeah, and it's gonna break your heart. Really? Three of swords. Spirit said that spirit is not going to bless you with someone else's future. The only thing is, Pisces, you didn't know that this person was attached to someone else. Or maybe you do. And for those that you do know, that's still not your person. They're not coming. They can't come. Spirit won't let them. And if they do come, it's not going to work. Listen to this card. Spirit is not going to bless you with someone else's future. Bow out gracefully, Pisces. Whether this person is miserable or not, that's not your fault. This person is not your person until they make it perfectly clear that they are not with that person. They need to tell that person, and it's over, over. As long as they are still attached, that is not your person. But even if they come to you, Pisces, is that your person, or will they still be attached to that person? You know what I mean? Energetically. So, Pisces, be careful. 
They feel trapped in a relationship from obligation. Key word is in a relationship. They're in a relationship from obligations, which means it could be children, it could be money, it could be a house, it could be businesses, it could be anything. It could be anything that they have tied into this person. Pisces, bow out gracefully. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Happy Friday. Peace.